hi guys so i welcome you to another video and today we are going to learn or i'm going to show you how you can calculate the batch of lotion you are making or yes in just simple terms you call it the batch calculator and if this is new to you what it does is or what the batch calculator does is if you want to make a lotion you have to know um, the individual quantities of the ingredients you want to add to your whole product and you can't just guess from your head so you need something we call the batch calculator there are tons of them on the internet but I've been working with a few and I think I'm so much in love with the one from wholesale supplies so what I do is I go to Google for the first time you can use any browser of your choice then you can use any search engine for your, of your choice. I'm not advertising for Google or anything, but I choose to work with Google because I'm kind of cool with Google. So you just type it in the search bar, um, batch calculator. Then you have the drop down menu that you can select from um, the ones you want. So me, I'm going to use um, our first option from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Yours might be different. So, so when you see the one you want to use you just click on it then the page will come this will be your landing page if you'll be using the same thing this will be your landing page um this is how it's supposed to look like um they have tons of information here that in case you want to read just to educate yourself or something else and if you want to purchase stuff from them too um you can do that so let's get on with that so if you can see they have um directions over here so whatever you're supposed to do it's just here but i'm going to walk you through the process one by one so we have name of recipe what kind of lotion are we preparing so let's say we are doing a shea lotion we type it in there just for the sake of um record keeping you might want to go back and prepare the same recipe or the same lotion and if you don't know the name, let's say you have about 10 kinds of recipes and you've not named all of them. So how will you know this is a particular lotion I want to make? So if, let's say this is just a shell lotion, okay? Um, whether it is light or thick, we are not going to bother ourselves with that. So let's just look at shell lotion. Then we come down here, we have to tell batch volume, okay? Now this one is talking about what's the quantity of your lotion? So to make matters very, very easy for me, I don't like stressing myself. What I do is, if let's say I have 250 grams lotion containers, maybe I have about three, two, one. So let's say I have two of them and I want to make a lotion. What I do is I just multiply the 250 by two. That's 500 grams. Then this one, I know that, yeah, I'm doing 500 grams um, worth of lotion. So let's say you have um, um 100 gram lotion containers maybe you have five bottles or five containers you just multiply it by the five and you get 500 so to make it easy for you depending on the containers you want to use you just multiply it by the number and you just get um how much or how much you're supposed to do so for me i have 250 gram bottles too so i'm going i want to make lotion for the two because i want to give one to a friend so that means my batch is going to be 500 i just write it in there and you can see ounce pounds milliliters and grams here and um, this is the weight you'll be using so me i'm conversant with grams i because whether i'm making soaps or whether i'm making lotions i measure in grams so i'm going to stick with grams but if you are cool with ounces pounds and milliliters you go for it but whatever you are cool with whatever you need you are cool with you go with and when you come to lotion what Ever you add to your lotion preparation, it must show or you must input it in here. Okay. Whether you're using distilled water, you using honey, you using glycerin, you using preservative. So let's get on with it. So for our shea butter lotion, we start with our shea. Then we might heat up a bit with um mm, coconut oil. These are oils of my choice. You can use uh, whichever oils you want. Then I want um carrot seed oil, and you can choose tons of oils. You are not limited to the quantities of um quantity of oils you can choose. So I'm going to use avocado or 
So, and I love cocoa butter too. So let me add cocoa butter. So let's say these are oils. So let's come. You'll be using e wax. You type it in there. If you have it's mandatory you add e wax to it, okay? Because the e wax is what's going to bind the oils and the water. So I'll be using um instead of using just ordinary water, I'll be using cucumber hydrosol. You can just use ordinary distilled water. You maybe can use milk or what have you. That is what I'm using. And preservative, you can use whatever preservative you have, but I'll be using liquid Jamal Plus. So um, it's your choice. And <clears throat> you can use steric acid, cetyl alcohol, or whatever. You have to input it in there, but I don't have it right now. So I'm going to leave it out. This is a recipe I'll be preparing, so I'm going to leave it out. Then I'll add um, lemon fragrance oil. Um, is there something else I'd like to add? Now we have our pres we have like our main ingredients or so the main access preservative is here, your water is here, your e wax is here, your oils are here. I almost forgot my vegetable glycerin. Don't forget your vegetable glycerin. Then I'll be adding um, vitamin E. It's my choice. You can choose to add um, a lot of stuff. So it depends on what you want. So I'm just going to keep it this simple and um, yeah, I think this is okay. So um whenever you are choosing your oils and maybe the other additives you have to consider whom you are making the products for you have to consider whether the person have dry skin oily skin um normal skin sensitive skin you have to consider all those things you just don't have to pick actives or you just have to pick ingredients and you just put them there you have to consider all these things so the person i'm making the other person has got um kind of oily skin but it dries so faster and the person's skin is not sensitive just like my own but kind of a bit oily so um i'll just do something which will moisturize the person's skin and also retain water and there are some things i just have a particular rate i go i don't go above that rate so for my preservative i mostly do 0.5 of the whole batch you have you can contact your supplier um, your supplier can let you know the safe rates for your preservative but my preservative i do 0.5 every time and for my fragrance oil i mostly do 0.5 so my lotions don't smell um doesn't have that kind of high scent you know because most lot i consider is um fragrances are lab made and they are synthetic and two it's a leave-on product and three i don't know who'll be using my product somebody might have issues with scent because myself i do have issues with high scented stuffs so i mostly consider those things and it's not like my product doesn't smell good it do smell good but it's not a product that maybe when you use it and you just pass by people just turn and look how you know the scent is very very mild so um, and my glycerin, I mostly do 1% to 2%. I've never done 3%. What I've learned is that glycerin, when you do more than 3% in a recipe, it tends to dry your skin. So maybe um, if you have tried it, maybe at a higher percentage and it did something different, you can let me know in the comment section. So we have e-wax to e-wax. I'm keeping it at 5%. But mostly if I'm preparing a lotion which has got a lot of liquid oils like coconut oil, carseed oil, avocado oil and those things. I kind of um, keep my e-wax around 8% or 9% because it will help um, with it thickening up a bit. And I also add cetyl alcohol. But since I've got this is a shea butter lotion and I'm going to make the shea a lot. I don't want the product to be so kind of thick and kind of greasy because 
I'm considering how thick it will be and I'm also considering the individuals going to use the product. The person has already got an oily skin. If you're going to make the person put on something which is going to make them feel more greasy, is if you don't you might end up with um acne and those kind of things and if you don't take Africa it's hot, we understand um it might darken your skin just um at a faster rate. So so uh, I'm going to do vitamin E at one. Then I'm doing my shea at fifteen percent. Then I'll do my coconut at five, carrot at five, avocado at five and cocoa butter at five percent so let's see what we have down here so we click on calculate so now we have 44 okay and the whole thing must sum up to 100 so 44 we are left with 56 percent before we hit 100 percent so we make it at 56 yeah we have 56 right there. We make it at 56 now it's at 100 percent okay so if you're going to add color oh no 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 if you are going to add color and those things everything must be here you might you have to type everything in here when i be using this calculator i'm using another one so if you can see from here everything is listed here for you how much shea you will use, how much coconut you use, how much carrot seed, avocado, cocoa butter, e-wax, you know, everything you will use, everything is listed based on the unit you are cool with. So if I was, um, if I'm making this product, I'm definitely going to stick with this unit. So basically, you don't have to eyeball and think, oh, I'm using one tablespoon of shea, I'm using one tablespoon of coconut oil. No, right now, you know how to use a calculator and you'll be able to tell I'm using a percentage of this or maybe I'm using a quantity of this. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, I guess I've succeeded because basically when I'm going to make lotions, this is what I do before um, I hit the studio and make my products. So if you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. If you have any suggestion too, you can leave it in the comment section and yeah if you've not subscribed to you can subscribe and if you like this video too please don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to be the first to always see my tutorials kindly hit the bell over there and whenever i release a new video you'll be part of those who just get it first anyway happy lesson making